Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles. I want to show you guys a little tip today on encouraging the growth of wild edibles in your yard. This is a good way to take advantage of wild edibles in your yard. And this is something that I normally do just so I can have myself a little bit of extra food. You can see this plant here, and this plant is called chickweed. This plant usually grows all along the sides of houses. It's really common in lawns, right around landscaping, anywhere like that you're probably going to be finding chickweed, especially this time of year. But not only do I have chickweed that grows here, you may be able to see these tiny little lamb's quarters coming in. But I also have some other things just kind of naturally growing in here, like wild lettuce. You can see a wild lettuce rosette here. And here you can see this patch of chickweed growing inside of this patch of grass. And this is something that I'm going and this is something that I'm going to work on. I'm going to slowly pick out this grass so that way it doesn't kill off the chickweed and doesn't give the chickweed any competition. And really, whenever it comes to encouraging the growth of wild edibles, it's not much different than basically keeping weeds away from your normal plants. Like if you had, you know, a tomato or anything of that sort, you would pull weeds away from it. Well, grass or anything of that sort. Well, in this case, you're kind of pulling weeds away from your weeds. So that's something that I want to kind of talk to you guys about. Here you may be able to see the section of loose soil that I just recently loosened up. There was quite a bit of grass growing here. And I really don't like grass growing along the side of my house. It creates quite a bit of problems, as I'm sure everybody's aware of. So one thing I like to do this time of year is remove the grass and loosen up the soil around it. And as I'm doing so, I make sure to take care and leave any wild edible plants that are there. Here you can see some wild lettuce and you can see some wood sorrel growing in around it. Here you can see some more wild lettuce. And now with the soil all loosened up, there's going to be all kinds of weeds or plants or wild edibles growing in here. And now that the soil's loose, they're not going to have very many competitions, so I can go through and I can pick out any things I don't want, and I can keep the things I do want later. But I thought I would show you guys this little tip on how I encourage the growth of wild edibles in my yard. I thank you guys for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about wild edible or medicinal plants, make sure to subscribe.